better or worse at this point. Well, apparently this segment will be dedicated to showcasing something else the humans have created. Jenny, what have you got? Oh, I'm pretty sure this one will be more to your tastes. It's the exclusive premiere of the latest review from YouTube sensation Matt Adams. YouTube? Wait a minute. Macadam? Didn't I shut down that old Vents retro rat ridden excuse for an old oil house when I became Magnus? Acting Magnus? But no. Not McAdam, Matt Adams, better known as Thew. Thew? Eh, whatever. Roll the clip. What up, Ding Dongs? My name's Thew, coming at you not live via not satellite for the TF Nation Teleconvention 2020. Pause. You've got to be kidding me. That's McAdam. Look at him. No, like I said, his name is Thew. Hey, hey, tech bot, can we get a split screen or something? A comparison here? <laughs> yeah, you see? See? Tell me, in what way is that not Macadam? He's organic for a start. Yeah, well, maybe it's a Macadam themed pretender shell. Happy as I am that you're finally enjoying something, the best bit is coming up. Can we continue? Ooh, it gets better? Then by all means. And because TF Nation has grown into something of an ongoing animated after party, what do you say let's go Mentinal for Sentinel? You got my attention. Now the name Sentinel Prime has kind of taken on a bit of a curse across the TF multiverse. A sort of general unpleasant man association. Careful. And to be fair, this blue bragger is far from the worst of them. I mean, sure he's an arrogant, self-aggrandizing, narcissistic, bloviating douche gasket. Careful. But he's at least fun and fallible and constantly getting dunked on. <laughs> Pause! No, no, he's not being totally negative, is he? He's sure blurring the line. But he could still go either way, right? Come on, let's see how it plays out. <sighs> Fine. You can't despise him. He's a panto villain. Boo this man. Boo! So this is Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Sentinel Prime. And the first thing anyone ever says about it is, oh, why isn't it bigger? Why aren't you bigger? And I while am this, bigger. Look pretty daft alongside Optimus's aberrantly enormous Voyager figure. He's still a meaty deluxe, top loading all his beef right in your eye line, like a manic mesomorph manlet. Check out these shoulders. They're like six tires thick, more like horizontal prime and isn't that chest plate so perfect Love yeah the i understood that vehicle word. frontage and glorious winged elite guard badge set against this blue brick board honestly i wasn't sure about the enormous orange shoulder shields at first but god he looks so plain without them and they actually totally play into the whole delusional military grasping glory hog look glory hog it's called being confidently motivated Head's a curious kidney bean with cheeky antennas and like a recessed face that sort of gives the impression he might not actually be blue, almost like he's wrapped in a blue body stocking, which I'm sure you'll know is an extremely unsubtle nod to Townsend Coleman's other role as the Tick. Spoon! Hey, he's lost me again. I didn't get any of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it. Is it good? This is truly the chin of all chins. Like, it's so proud and pronounced with like a special viewing window for the butt cleft. It's a bolt. And the face itself, with its untrustworthy eyes and petulant sneer, definitely gives us that extreme expressiveness that only animated could pull off. Ugh. Anyway, old Sentinel Soup is serving some seriously stacked arms with enormous and surprisingly well-defined fingers. Come on, Potemka. Along with shoulder rotators so seismically gnarly, they practically unplug the entire assembly with every massive click. All of which brawny bodybuilder bigness comes in striking contrast to his tiny ass hips, tiny ass thighs, and tiny ass... Tiny ass what? What, did he forget his lines? Bad editing? <laughs> What an axle rod. Weapons are mighty unusual, with a lance and shield combo that complements his chivalrous pretensions and looks gloriously goofy in all spark blue, like toys within toys. Posing's okay, but patchy. Like there's no radial humorous motion, but it's sideways a elbow action, limber hip balls, limb balls, but no waist and nothing below the knees. You'd think Sentinel Prime of all people could pull off a heel turn. Wait, what's he trying to say? What's a heel turn? Is it an about face? Old mech Sergeant Cup used to drill those into us at auto boot camp, so yeah, I can do those. 
So all told, I guess he cuts an impressive enough figure. But for all the good that's going on, it is kind of offset by what's going on around the back. Why, yes, that is the entire front chunk of a whole ass truck. Oh no, it's all a ruse, a put on, a fake -aroo. I knew he was sketchy. Well, yeah, it's called a disguise. The whole point is to trick you. Transformation's excellent fun, and it's actually mad clever. The feet split in half vertically to form the rear and the roof. God, I love animated. It does feel a bit of an incomplete process, though. Like the head just kind of tips back a bit and leaves him with a serious case of V-mom. That's uh, visible most of me. Well, I am the truck. It should be Voab. <laughs> Even so, Sentinel still redistributes his not inconsiderable mass into a rare snowplow mode. Oh, Check is that out this what it was? Mobile. It's all cartoony angles and tonka chonk. Love the tinted windows and the square bullish nose. Tires are just chomping the road. And I'm feeling the cheeky doors with the play in the paws. He's also got some of the weirdest weapon storage I've ever seen. It's pretty clever, I guess, and super unusual, but it just looks so daft. Like, a lot of the fun of the animated weapons is that they disappear into the disguises. But of course Mr. Important over here wouldn't bother with that, would he? He's just no, like, yeah, I guess wouldn't. what? Elite guard, move aside. What do you think the shovel's for? This is not a man who's above pushing. Don't want to get moved? Don't be on my trajectory! But as a vehicle mode, it does feel very prime. Because it's still a truck. It's still a service vehicle, kind of. But it's less helpful and more headstrong. Just a brute force battering ram of a man. Pure unhealthy ambition and unchecked ego perfectly expressed through a fierce fistful of plastic. Agreed. Just your jacked up jerk off mate you love to love to hate. My name's Theo and I approve this message. Ah, oh, okay. I see what he did there. Clever. So, what do you think? Well, I have to admit, I had no idea the humans worshipped me so much that they created an unsolicited effigy in my likeness to celebrate my greatness. Yeah, maybe there's hope for these underdeveloped protoplasmic slugs after all. That's not exactly what I... I mean, that's great. This one, though? I'm not convinced he's quite so ready to commit to the cause. He seems to be trying to convince himself that I'm not simply legitimately amazing. Interesting wordplay, though. He's definitely got something going on there. Right? You like him? Eh, don't you put words in my vocal processor. There's still enough transgressions in that video for me to consider sicking death's head on him. But no, he's got potential. I think instead... Hugh McAdams, you are on my radar. From now on, the mighty Sentinel Prime will be watching you. Shall I like, comment, and subscribe for you? Eh, sure. Whatever.